<laughs> hey guys, how's it going? Uh, sorry. Um, you know how I am. There's always got to be something I'm fussing with with my hair. I have it in this like ponytail thing. Um, a couple of things. So I have to run out, but uh, a lot of you guys were. Yes, I drink my coffee even when it gets cold all day. So this is later. This is from earlier this morning actually. Um, it's funny, hold on. One of my hairs is coming up. Um, two things I want to talk about you guys have been asking me about trail mix, and I want to show you something I'm doing now. Um, but a couple of people had written me and asked me about paleo, is this paleo, is that paleo? And of course I wrote you back, and I was like, first of all, I didn't write the books on paleo. I don't know if there's like one specific book. You know, you ask a different person, they're gonna tell you, I go by this book, I go by this book, whatever. Um, here's the thing, and, and when I answer questions, I'm not a trainer, I'm not a dietitian, I'm not a nutritionist, I'm not a doctor. I'm just somebody who's around a lot of these people, so I'm not, um, in a position to tell anybody what you should or shouldn't be doing or you know what any rules are. I feel like my hair's coming out of this thing, sorry. Um, but I saw something then that made me think about, you know, and I just wanted to pass it on to you guys. I've talked about this before. Stop getting hung up on what what rules are in in sorry. They just we're doing this thing to my hair, and I'm trying not to mess it up, but it's bothering me. Um, here's the thing. I, I see so many people getting caught up in what I got caught up with um, the past couple of years. Um, and and I, I just want to say, stop, stop it. Stop it, because you don't need to. You don't need to. There's no... Um, there's no, I've said this before, there's no one way to get fit. There's no one right workout approach. There's no, what there is, is a lot of knowledge. And we all have to take bits and pieces of what works for us and do it. And what I can't stand personally, and what I think is absurd, are people that think there is just one way, or what they're doing is the only way to eat, or the only way to work out. That's bullshit, okay? I'm sorry that I just swore, get over it. But if, you, if you're a runner um, and you love to just run and you don't lift weights, more power to you, okay? That's great. Um, there are people that will judge those people and rant and rave that, oh my God, you know, they don't lift weights. No one can dispute the information that's out there that shows how beneficial strength training is for you. However, if those people that really enjoy running marathons and half marathons and triathlons and they want to run seven times a week, are they hurting anybody? No. If they're enjoying themselves, they're getting up and moving and they're in a, you know, it's, it's healthy for them, let them do it. If someone's a vegetarian and you are, you have a paleo approach, why do you need to convert them? If they love what they're doing and it's working for them and they feel great, are they hurting anybody? No, they're not like, I mean, I can't even, there's just, there's so many different approaches to eating. There's so many different approaches to working out. Why can't you just, like someone like me, I'm shiny object syndrome. I get bored very easily. I, you know, wanna, I see this, ooh, I wanna try that. I see this, ooh, I wanna try that. I like running, I like yoga, I like um, working out with Jay, my trainer, with whatever he makes up. I can't wait to do CrossFit. I'm not gonna just do one thing, ever. I still love Tybo. And you know, I have some people that go, Tybo, well, that's like medium state cardio. That's totally ineffective. How about if I like it, and it's keeping me moving, and I'm 43 years old, and it's keeping me in good shape, and you know, again, keeping me moving as opposed to sitting my ass on the couch and doing nothing. Am I hurting anybody? No. There are a lot of people that do kickboxing, MMA, whatever, boxing, and that's all they do and they're in great shape. Who cares? I mean, if, if somebody or anybody does a different approach than you, let them do it. I mean, 
on one hand, I understand what it's like. And when I, on my, on my blog, or in my videos, when I'm sharing with you, like, hey, you know, this is the coffee I'm drinking and I like it, I'm not trying to convince people to do what I'm doing. I share my blog for accountability. My blog is for accountability. It's because I've learned from other people, I've been inspired from other people, and heck, if I'm creating results for myself and I can share what's worked for me and it helps other people, cool, you know? It's not rocket science. This isn't anything that's extraordinarily, um, you know, ex I almost said extraordinarily extreme and that would have sounded really stupid. Um, but I guess so many people are writing me and, and then I saw something on Instagram last night that made me go, why, why, why do these people exist that feel like they have to be the, the food police or the workout police or just somebody that wants to poke and prod and, and find something wrong with everything? It's like that's their job to go online and look around and go, oh, oh, I can't believe she calls herself paleo and she has milk in her coffee. <gasps> like, why don't you just, I, when I was raised, you know, my mom would always say, I'm way OB, mind your own business. If you have nothing nice to say, don't say anything at all. What, who are these people that have, that feel the need to just troll around and go, oh, oh, it's like they get excited thinking that they've busted somebody. What's gonna happen? Is somebody gonna get fined by the paleo police or the vegan police? Because, well, you call yourself a vegetarian, but you just had an Oreo, so you're not. If that vegetarian wants to have an Oreo, even though the middle of an Oreo is made with meat products, and that's okay by them, like, what's the end game? What's the end game with all these people that are bitching and, and pointing fingers at everybody else? What do you want them to do? Do you want them to, to create a video for you and say, I'm so sorry, Mr. Know-it-all. I have been wrong and you are right. I was mistaken. I was a vegetarian. I can't believe I called myself a vegetarian because I'm not worthy to call myself a vegetarian if I've had an Oreo cookie. Like what, what, there's no point. There's no point to all of this finger pointing. And I'm on Instagram last night looking at this great recipe and it was from somebody who, you know, their, their handle on, on there was something paleo. And I'm like, oh, that looks good. And then I see some comment that's like, oh, I'm sorry. Did the cavemen have salsa? Okay. Um, I don't know who said it. I'm not, you know, whatever. So this person is dogging on, whether it's in jest or whatever, but they did go back and forth. And I'm like, oh, uh, I just think the, the whole thing is so stupid. Here's somebody who's actually paying attention. They're following what this person is doing. She puts a recipe up that had some kind of like, it was like wraps or something, chicken wraps with salsa in it or whatever. And so because it was salsa and because the cavemen didn't have salsa in a jar, that must mean it's not really paleo. Who gives a crap? Seriously? The, the paleo approach for most people that follow it or subscribe to it, whatever you want to call it, is it's a way of eating. It's a way of, I'm keeping it simple, you know, and I don't even want to, I don't even want to define it. This is not, that's not my place, but who cares? So is that person saying, well, I eat better paleo than you do. Who, who answers? Is there some supreme, all-knowing paleo book that means that if you follow all this, you're better? Guess what? The cavemen also didn't have electricity. They also didn't have tampons. Should we not use tampons and deodorants as well because the cavemen didn't do it? Oh, right. Let's keep going further. They didn't have books back then. I guess we shouldn't read books, should we? And we shouldn't be using the internet or a phone. Seriously? I mean, do you see how freaking absurd this is? There's all of these people that literally, I see them on Instagram, I see them on Twitter, they'll write on some of my bloggers posts like, oh really, I can't believe you're eating that, it has so much sodium in it. If you don't wanna eat it and you don't want that much sodium, don't eat it. Like, what's the point? What is the point? Is it is it that you want an apology? Meaning these, these people that all they do is like live to complain and point out what's bad. I mean, every time, I actually do it almost as a joke. If I ever go on Twitter and say, you know, we all know, I would drink Diet Coke by the gallon if I could. 
I know it's bad, whatever. I like Diet Coke. At least I'm being honest. I'm not gonna sit here and go, oh, I eat clean, I only drink water. And then I'm like, shit, having a Diet Coke behind your back, behind my back or whatever. I, I'm honest. Like, I'm trying to have less of it and I do have a lot less of it, but I freaking love it. And I'm not lying to you guys. I would have a Diet Coke every hour. I would have a huge Diet Coke every hour if I could. Um, I'm just not doing it because it's, but I'm never going to say I'm never going to have it again. If I go out on Twitter and say, oh, I just love Diet Coke, I will have 15 people jump all over me. I can't believe you call yourself a fitness person and you have Diet Coke. Do you know how many fitness people drink Diet Coke? Is there a certain area that we can all subscribe to that defines what a fitness person is? I had somebody write on my blog like, oh, I can't believe you call yourself a fitness person and you've never run a marathon. So apparently their definition of a fitness person is you have to have run a marathon. Like, I've only run a 5K, so I'm not at their level. Who are these people? Like, y'all need to just get a life. And I'm sure that somebody who, who is, you know, of this type of personality will go, oh, Kelly Alexa, she says y'all. What kind of a stank is she? Whatever. <laughs> Seriously, if that's all you want to do with your day is sit around and anonymously make fun of people, go nutty. I mean, I have better things to do with my day. But literally, I saw that thing on Instagram and I'm thinking, Really? That's the only comment that you can make. Like, if the recipe doesn't look good to you, don't say anything. But why did you go, oh, they didn't have salsa back when people were cavemen? <sighs> anyway, that was a very long rant and digression, so forgive me. Um, one of the things, so let me show you guys. Talking about, um, a lot of you guys have asked how, you know, what, do you have sweet cravings and whatever? Okay, let me tell you one thing. That time of the month, which was yesterday, um, when, it, when, it, when Aunt Flo arrives at my door, I give myself a 24 hour period to eat whatever my internal screaming Aunt Flo is asking for, which yesterday, I'm just gonna tell you, I bought not one, but two <laughs> containers of all, uh, I almost said all natural, um, dark chocolate organic uh, caramels from Trader Joe's. Two containers, people, two. And let me just tell you right now, they're no longer in my house. And let me also just tell you, most of them are in my belly. Um, I'm not excited about that. I, it's, it's what needed to happen. We, we had a, a spiritual chocolate experience yesterday. And I also had a piece of pizza. So that's what I do. When it's that day, I let myself have whatever I want. Um, but most of the time, after having um, you know, gone paleo or whatever, now that I have a paleo approach, um, a lot of what satisfies my sweet tooth is to have like an orange or an apple or trail mix. Now, I got this trail mix. This is just a container I've been using to mix a bunch up. This is the trail mix I got at Aldi. Um, what I do is when I pick trail mix, I won't get anything that has like M&Ms or chocolate in it or yogurt covered anything because of the dairy. So this one had almonds, walnuts, hazelnuts, raisins, dried sweetened cranberries, and pecans. Um, then I, I was having, recently I got several different, um, I think I got them at Target. I got a couple of, um, which I think is a lot of what's in here. I don't know if you can see this. There's some seeds, there's almonds, there's uh, golden raisins, cranberries, but I found that it was almost too much of the cranberries, not enough of like the salty side. I like to have a really equal balance of, of the berries and the nuts, so it's, it's equal. It's not like all sweet. It, and I do find that trail mix will satisfy my sweet tooth, but it has to have just, a, just enough of the, um, like the cranberries and stuff. So I wanted to get some other stuff at Trader Joe's that I could mix in. And I'm just getting a whole bunch of stuff, putting it all in a baggie, mixing it all up, and then, oh, here it is. This was the, from Trader Joe's. Uh, cranberries, almonds, golden raisins, sunflower kernels, and pepitas. I guess those are those little seed things. Um, but anyway, I found that it was a little bit too sweet for me, so I wanted something salty. So what I did is I got mesquite almonds, I got this one from Trader Joe's, almonds, blueberries, cranberries, and golden raisins. And then I got this one 
almonds, cranberries, raisins, cashews, blueberries. Well, I really like dried blueberries. So if you haven't thought of it, mix up, make your own trail mix. Um, but I will tell you, um, sure, I used to like trail mix that had M&Ms in it. But the more that I, on a regular basis, on a daily basis, don't eat sugar, I don't have that craving. Um, now, <laughs> when that Aunt Flo character arrived and I went to Trader Joe's and got those chocolates, I told you guys, it's a chemical reaction when you have sugar, okay? I've read that. I'm not going to try to regurgitate it for you. Um, word by word, but when you have sugar, especially when you have sugar on an empty stomach, it's literally, it's like it, it's like a chemical reaction. Your body will crave more. So I'm always aware of that, you know, the day that I let myself have an immense amount of chocolate and then I get it out of the house because I'm better when I just don't have it in the house. I'm not one of those people that can keep like, my old neighbor used to be, she used to keep a bowl on her kitchen table of Hershey's Kisses. And she'd go, well, it's just wonderful. I can have just one. I'm like, Really? Those are the same kind of people that have, oh, I can only have one Krispy Kreme donut. Who could ever eat more than one? Oh, that's not paleo. Anyway, I gotta go. I'm gonna go make this. I'm gonna go have a good rest of the day. I got stuff to do. I almost broke a nail. And um, I will talk to you guys a little bit later. And that's it.